Hi sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here today. I thought I would start off today's video by lighting one of my favorite Bath & Body Works candles. I feel like it always makes the house smell so amazing and just like fall. And then I'm gonna also make a warm coffee and then we're gonna start decorating the mantle. I'm so excited and I can't wait to show you how it turns out. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what your favorite fall drink is and snack. I love warm drinks in the fall, apple cider, hot chocolate, of course, you know, anything pumpkin flavored, but let me know what your favorites are. I'm so excited to decorate the mantle today. I feel like I always get so happy right before I'm gonna do some more decorating, especially for fall. If you did miss my fall kitchen decorate with me, I did that about two weeks ago, I think. And then last week I posted my dining room decorate with me and I'm just loving how these spaces turned out. Everything feels so festive and I especially love in the evening when all the lights are off. You can see here that my kitchen, dining room and living room is very open concept. So I really like the spaces to flow really well together. So I cannot wait to get the living room feeling cozy and really fall like. You can see little Holstein relaxing by the fire in this clip. I thought it was so cute. And I'm just showing you an overview of all the pumpkins and decor I thought that I might use on the mantle. I've been collecting these pumpkins probably five to 10 years, so I have quite a few in my stash. But I really wanted to use a lot of those soft muted colors that I've been loving for fall. Some of my favorite fall pumpkins are these really soft, almost peachy ones. I got a lot of these from HomeSense. I also love this green color. It was $12.99. I've probably had these ones for a few years now. And then one of my favorite purchases last year were these wicker ones from Michaels. These orangey pumpkins with kind of the floral leaf design are from Michaels last year. And then all these little pumpkins of velvet, kind of the sweater ones, and then the plastic orange ones. These were all from Dollar Tree this year and they were $1.50 each. This plush pillow pumpkin was probably my favorite purchase for the year. It was $29.99 and I just think it's so gorgeous. I cannot wait to use this. I've had this mirror on my mantle for probably almost eight years now since we've moved in. I used to be really into the glam look, but I wanted something different. I did stop in at HomeSense because they always have such a large selection of mirrors, and I knew that I'd probably be able to find something. Um, I was thinking something oval. Um, I loved this mirror. It was square, and it was in more of that muted gold color. I also thought this one was gorgeous, just a round, simple matte black one, and it was pretty inexpensive, so I was definitely leaning toward that. This one caught my eye too, just because of the warm wood tones. It was just a little bit too high. And then I came across this gold mirror and they also had one in black and I was debating between the two and then I did end up going with the black one. I just thought it would fit my style a little bit better but I love that it's an arch and then the bottom um, is easy to just prop up on the fireplace. You guys will have to let me know what you think of the new mirror. I definitely really like it. It just takes a little bit of time to adjust to something when you're used to it being a certain way for such a long time. But I'm gonna go in now with one of these little suction hooks. I got this from Dollarama, I believe. They're really inexpensive. And this is just a great way to be able to add a wreath to your mirrors. I got this adorable hat from my dad. He ended up giving me some of his things that he wasn't using. I thought it would be perfect to add to this wreath. It just kind of reminds me of Anne of Green Gables, which is one of my favorite movies to watch year round, but especially in the fall time.
I love trying new things on my mantle. It's just so fun to play around with decor. And because the mantle is so wide, I can do a lot on this area. So I decided to use one of my scarves. This is just a simple black and white one, but I think it would be perfect for fall or even Christmas because of the design on it. And I just wanted to kind of drape over the mantle. If you are duplicating this at home, everything can look kind of messy. Um, you're gonna add a lot of decor to the top of this, so it's just kind of like a base layer to get us started. Next, I'm gonna go in with this apple barrel basket. I think that's what it is. I love the simplicity of this and just that soft wood tone, and we're just gonna prop it on its side. This cute little riser I've had for quite a while from HomeSense. I love the wood beads on it. And whenever I need to add some height, I just pull it out. And to the top of that, I'm gonna add one of my favorite lanterns. If you're ever looking for really inexpensive risers, I suggest Michaels. They typically have these little metal ones. And whenever I'm layering candles in a lantern, I love them to be at varying heights. So I always just add one of those little risers in. In the fall and winter months when I am decorating, I love to add a lot of ambient lighting because in the evenings I always dim our light. So I try to add a lot of candles. I got these gorgeous candlesticks this year from HomeSense. The soft gold as well as the shape of these candlesticks are just perfect for fall. And I'm gonna add in some of these flameless flickering LED candles that I did purchase from Amazon. I feel like just by adding these two candlesticks and candles, it completely added so much warmth to the space. Moving over to the apple barrel basket, I wanted to disguise some of the dirt on the bottom. These have been well used. So I did place a little hay bale and then I'm gonna go in with some of my favorite pumpkins. This one was from Walmart. And then of course, some of these soft peach ones just to bring in those really warm tones. These adorable little stems were from Michael's. I got them last year, but I believe they have them again this year. They have acorns and little pumpkins on them. I think they're so beautiful. And I wanted to fill in a little bit of space in this barrel, so these stems were the perfect fit. When I was kind of thinking up what I wanted to do on the mantle, my vision was having this basket and then pumpkins kind of spilling out everywhere on the mantle. So when I'm placing my bigger pumpkins on here, I'm trying to kind of put them at all different angles. I wanted it to feel really natural, but I wanted to use lots of different textures and colors and just really add a lot of warmth to the mantle. You guys will have to let me know how many pumpkins you count that I've used in this video. I don't even know how many I used, but I really wanted everything to look really full and layered. And I love using lots of different shapes and textures. And I feel like that's really what makes it feel cozy. I have some of these orange pumpkins. I love the addition of this brighter orange with all the muted colors that I'm using. If you haven't been to Dollar Tree yet and you live near one, you should go because they have the cutest little fuzzy sweater pumpkins that I'm using now. They're definitely my favorites this year. And I decided to go in and just make it feel a little bit more messy. So I did flip some of the pumpkins on their side and I feel like it just makes it feel a little bit more natural and not like I placed them there. To tie in the eucalyptus wreath that I added to the mirror, I have this garland. It definitely adds a more realistic feel because it almost looks like the pumpkins are coming off the vine.
Mirrors are so great to use because you get so much reflection from the lights. So the glow of the candles and the twinkle lights, it just really brightens up the space. And my favorite, like I've mentioned before, is in the evenings when you shut all the lights off and you just have the ambience from all your lights. So you'll have to stay till the end to see how that looks. The final touch on the mantle is adding my candlesticks and my big chunky pumpkin in this sweater material. I love it. I just propped it up against the mantle and the whole look really came together. I think it's so perfect for fall and I'm just so excited to spend cozy nights sitting by the fire. You guys will have to let me know if you started your fall decorating or if you're waiting a few more weeks. Of course, this wouldn't be a video of mine without showing sweet little Holstein. I wanted to share a few little clips of him eating his evening snack. I just wanted to take a moment to thank you all so much for coming by every week and spending some time with me and Holstein. We are so, so grateful for your support and I will never take it for granted. It truly means so much and just being able to chat with each and every one of you every week means the world to me and I get so excited when I'm posting a video knowing that I get to chat with you guys in the comments. So I do want to do another giveaway coming up. I did send out the $50 gift card to Margaret who was our winner and she did receive it so I am super excited to do another giveaway and it's just a small way I can show you guys how much I love you. So until the next video friends, take care. God bless.